Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to talk to you about this. More specifically, the paint that I used to make this. As you may or may not know, chroma key green paint is super expensive, as you can see. A couple weeks ago, I needed to make a green screen that folded up, so I wanted it to be painted. I probably could have used cloth, but I didn't want to spend like $20 to $30 on a piece of cloth when I was only going to use a small swatch. So I went ahead and searched for paint. And what I found was chroma key green paint is crazy expensive. So I went in search of alternatives. I came across the blog. The person on the blog had went and taken swatches uh, from Home Depot and matched them to an actual chroma key backdrop, one of the cloth ones. The person said to go to Home Depot and get from the Disney collection Gamma Sector Green. Now the blog post was quite old, but I was still hopeful that Home Depot would have the Disney collection and Gamma Sector Green. So off I went to Home Depot, I searched everywhere in the paint section, I could not find Disney or a green that was even close to this. So I finally broke down and asked the lady behind the counter if they still had the Disney colors. What she told me was, we have some of them, but you'll need to know the name. So I told her I was looking for Gamma Sector Green, she typed it in, and luckily it popped up. So this is the code if you want to go find Gamma Sector Green. Now a little bit about this paint, I bought the most inexpensive one they had, it was around $9 I think for the quart, and this is 4 square feet, it, it took 2 coats to cover this, um, which almost didn't use any paint at all. I would say there's about this much gone out of the quart. You can see me painting it here. I just dipped this foam roller in there and just rolled it on there. It worked really well. It dried super fast and I'm really happy with the finish. It's very smooth and even. So if you're looking for an indoor application that's not going to get walked on, it's not going to get a lot of traction or it's just going to sit here like this or maybe a wall behind you, I would say go with the cheap option from Home Depot. I don't see anything wrong with it. I think it works great and um, seems to suit my application just fine. Now if you needed something a little bit more robust, I'm sure Home Depot would be able to mix it in one of their more robust paints, um, but you're going to pay more money for it obviously. But I still think in the long run it would be significantly less expensive than purchasing the actual chroma key paint, which is just outrageous. Now if you just need a backdrop that's not going to move, the cloth um, backdrops might be the way to go. You can get them on Amazon for a really great price. I think a 9x12 is something like $20 to $30, which is incredible. So if you're looking for that, I'll put a link down in the description. Otherwise, go the paint route. Now there are a couple things I want to mention when you're lighting these things. Make sure you don't put too much light on this, because if you put too much light on it, it's going to rebound. I don't think it's doing it. Uh, it's going to rebound the light back onto your subject, kind of like a mirror, and then you're going to get a green fringe. Sometimes you see this on news anchors that are given the weather. They just, you know, didn't get the lighting right before the broadcast, and you'll have a fringe around their hands and their arms. The other thing I want to mention is make sure you don't wear whatever color you're using for this because you will disappear, unless, of course, you're trying to disappear. Shout out to my Patreons for helping make this video possible. Thanks for watching, guys. Please check out my other videos and have an awesome day.